Tetra X1 is certainly capable of doing more than this. I mean, this is, they have written this benchmark such that it can run on all platforms. Uh, obviously, X1 has the capability to run more like you know console and PC class uh, graphics quality. And you'll see a really great demo later on uh, tonight when you come to the press conference. It was like <coughs> Unity or Unreal or something. Do you know? Uh, this uh, I'm not sure. I can find out. But, you know, I think they're using their own. So last year when we launched Tegra K1, we showed a similar development platform like that and we showed 30 FPS which was 2x what the previous gen iPad, Apple and you know SOCs were and people thought okay this is a development platform they must be overclocking and all that but when we came with Shield tablet you know, it still delivered 30 FPS, so there's no like funky overclocking or anything. It, this basically represents the form factor of an 8-inch tablet. And like this board, you know, if you look, think about it, it's the location of the chip on an 8-inch tablet. And this heat sink basically models the heat dissipation of a much eight, larger 8-inch uh, surface. Okay. So we're practically going to see more performance all of the same form factors. Exactly. Because if you think about it, on the desktop side, the Maxwell GPU is 2x the efficiency of Kepler GPU. And that efficiency is now being you know, brought to this moment.